Right. We are going to build another plane. Just one this time. And for now, let's call this the Dishonest Place Hold. Okay, how about the, uh, Out the um, bad placeholder. Uncreative, uncreative, but yeah, we can rename it. So, what have we got so far? We got an interception fighter, kind of a, or I call it more air superiority fighter. We have a um, kind of fighter bomber. We have dedicated bombers, but we never used for them. So, let's have a look through the different types we can have. We haven't got, we haven't really run across firebrands yet. So why don't we design one of these? $16,000. And couldn't hope to have a decent engine with nitro on it. I think I'm making this a kind of missile plane. A rear turret would help because it's slow and might get flanked. It's going to just have Barrett arms. No gun for now. Hard points, free and free. Have a decent amount of armor. 50 on the wings and 50, 45 on the nose, let's say. Can we take any more guns? No. So, let's put more armor on, still. 60 on the nose, 60 on the tail, and 55 on the wings. Very nice. So, yeah, decently equipped. And with a nitro engine and three hard points. So, very useful when. We need um, a reason to use a lot of explosive force and to get away quickly. So it's kind of strike bomber, I call it. So we're going to follow a naming convention, which is uh, kind of an adjective a noun. So wobbly goblin, a flying brick. Well, this is um, quite sluggish, but more sluggish than broken, I'd say. So how about the uh, creakly pig? It's not about moral sluggish, but it is pretty bad. And just to be insulting, let's use the Hollywood Knights colour scheme. And um, let's go for a patriotic theme. Blue there, red there. Let's go more crimson. And white there. Yeah, that, that's quite stand out. Decals. Yeah, I think it makes sense to call it the sitting duck. <laughs> um, gonna keep one there. And just Nation of Hollywood to mess with people. Uh, ready to purchase? Yes, we are. Purchase now. Okay. Right. Uh, another plane added to our collection. And hopefully, something we'll be able to use at some point in the near future.